Ambassador of the United States to Kenya, Meg Whitman, has resigned. In a statement on Wednesday afternoon, Meg said that she announced to her team at the U.S. Embassy that she submitted her resignation to President Biden. Meg Whitman has resigned after months of piling pressure from a section of Kenyans who are calling for her resignation. Calls that grew louder following the victory of Donald Trump in the U.S. elections. George Maringa now tells us more. Sitting at the table will be Clinton White. For two years, three months, and nine days, Margaret Cushing Whitman, famously known as Meg Whitman, has served as ambassador of the United States of America to Kenya. Body, prime cabinet secretary. A tenure that has earned her accolades, friends, and foes in equal measure. Her resignation coming after Donald Trump's win of the recently concluded U.S. elections. Meg Whitman was confirmed in a unanimous vote by the U.S. Senate as the 18th Ambassador of the United States to Kenya on the 14th of July 2022. She presented her credentials to retired President Uhuru Kenyatta on the 5th of August 2022. Her entry into Kenya and her visible presence at the Bombers of Kenya at the height of the 2022 so general much. elections attracted criticism from different quarters. In her resignation, Meg said she is proud of leading a people-centered agenda that saves lives, increases security, and creates economic opportunities for Kenyans and Americans. She also took pride in the fact fact that United States elevated Kenya as its first major non-NATO ally in sub-Saharan Africa. This, she says, reflected the importance the two countries place on standing shoulder to shoulder to protect their shared democratic values and enhance security. She was also quick to highlight that the embassy also responded to the skyrocketing demand for the consular services, reducing wait times for non-immigrant visa appointments from more than two years to about two months, further adding that like all U.S. ambassadors, she serves at the request of the president. The American people have spoken and a new president will be inaugurated in January. Chargé d'affaires Mark Dillard will take up the helm of the U.S. Embassy in Kenya, awaiting the new appointee. A career entrepreneur with significant experience leading business organizations, Meg Whitman has resigned at the age of 68 years. George Maringa, TV 47, Nairobi.